students from all over the world have joined a global mission to create a blueprint for a colony of one million people on the planet Mars. In Perth, the Curtin team focused on a way to 3D print tools on Mars. Perfectly built. While in Melbourne, RMIT designed an entire city, placing it underground to protect from radiation. The competition has come to a close, with both teams making it into the finals. Today we're here to announce the winners from the Australian side. We've got the heavyweights of RMIT versus Curtin, and it's going to be exciting to see who wins. We're competing with industry people. We're university students, and to win would just be fantastic. We've got one shot and one opportunity. It's amazing to see how technology is now changing the way we live, and these guys have really thought outside the box for both the designs. But before the announcements, the students take part in a panel discussion about how they used VR in their designs. Both RMIT and Curtin have put in amazing effort in the last six months. Being able to see our design in VR, not only is it really satisfying, but it also gives you that opportunity to look at your work critically and really experience it and help solve those problems that you might not have known about before. Your initial impressions of VR is that like, it tends to be quite low quality, but you start seeing on the Martian surface that you've got the very high definition, it becomes more realistic. The event is coming to an end, and it is time for the moment that everyone has been waiting for. This has gone all the way through to people at NASA, people at Discovery Channel and HP to, to judge the winner of this competition. It's pretty scary having like over 100 people looking at our design. RMIT's concept of building into the ground has many positive implications, but the problem is that actually digging those holes could present new challenges. Instead, what they may consider doing is searching the surface for lava tubes or caves that already exist that they can either build upon, improve, or expand. 3D printing tools are fantastic for space if you can get it right. 3D printing oftentimes runs into difficulties when you have interworking parts. So the question is, if they decide to 3D print tools on Mars when they get there, are they going to be limited by the technology itself? They're about to do the announcement. I really, really want to win. I'm nervous about the outcome. With my pleasure, and from the support of NASA, HP, Intel, NVIDIA, we'd like to announce the winner as... RMIT. I can't believe we've won all these months of work. They've come to something and we can say, yes, we built something that could physically exist on Mars. I'm so stoked. Uh, I can't believe it. This is just the first step for populating Mars. I can see there's a future for us all.